Hey guys, it's Prosy on YouTube and today I'm gonna show you how you can create awesome effects using mostly Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. I created a new artboard at 1920 by 1080 and the first thing we must do is create a new layer under the existing one and make a black rectangle and lock the layer to use it as our background. Let's take the rectangle tool, create a rectangle. And let's make the stroke white so we can see it. Now we need to smoothen the corners and to do that there are two different ways depending on which version of Illustrator you are using. The first method is to drag from the corner to the middle using the dot. But if your version of Illustrator doesn't have it, you have to make a circle and snap it on the inside of the rectangle, then mark both of the shapes and using Alt and the Shape Builder tool, delete the corner. But because the first method is not destructive and we can go back to normal at any time, we go with this one. Now, before smoothing the corners, let's take the ellipse tool and create three circles. Let's change the values a bit. Let's take the rectangle tool again and create another shape, half of the circle's size. Then mark the circles and the rectangle and rotate. Let's take the shape builder tool again and delete the shapes we don't need holding the alt key. Now we need to connect the shapes. To do that, we will take the direct selection tool and mark the corners, right click and select join. Another way of doing this is marking everything and use the Shape Builder tool. Now that we have our corners ready, we are going to smooth them using the same technique as before. Now I gotta let them know it's really true. 
One thing we forgot to do is remake the rectangle that we destroyed before with the shape builder tool. We are ready to add some color. We are gonna use some gradients. Let's pick a pink and a purple. This is looking good. You can leave it like this or select the shapes individually and play with the color position or the gradient angle. Perfect. Now go back with the direct selection tool and select the curved line of our shape. Duplicate it, move it on the side. and join these two lines. Give it a white stroke and take it back to position. Expand it and let's add a gradient. Select it, change both colors to white with a second white at 0% opacity. Lower the opacity at 50% and do the same with the other lines. I don't like the last one. Let's change the opacity to 25%. Let's move all the lines on the inside of the shapes. I like it better that way.
Now select everything and with the shape builder tool delete the imperfections. So now it's time to move into Photoshop. Paste it. Play with the positions as much as you want. Add a light drop shadow. Finally, let's create a new layer and take the brush to add a glow effect. But remember, less is more. One final detail, use a brush around one or two pixels and create some noise. And that's the end of our tutorial. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time.